The Greenhouse Effect by kscience.com Here I'm drawing a small section of the Earth. And this dashed line represents the upper limit of the Earth's atmosphere. And this diagram represents the Sun. So the atmosphere is this thin layer around the Earth which contains gases. So Earth's atmosphere is made up of 78% N2, nitrogen, 21% O2, oxygen, 0.04% CO2, carbon dioxide, and less than 1% CH4, which is methane, and H2O, which is meant to be water vapour. Now the greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapour. Oxygen and nitrogen are not greenhouse gases. Therefore, I'm writing the greenhouse gases of carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapour on the left, and then oxygen and nitrogen on the right, which are not greenhouse gases. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Now what happens is, the sun transfers electromagnetic radiation towards the earth. The short wave electromagnetic radiation is able to pass through earth's atmosphere and it reaches the earth's surface where it is absorbed. This causes the surface of the earth to warm up causing the temperature to increase. Some of the short wave electromagnetic radiation is reflected by the earth's atmosphere back into space and some of it is also reflected by earth's surface back into space as well. Let's now go into more detail about how the greenhouse effect occurs. So this line represents how energy is transferred from the sun and this energy is transferred in the form of electromagnetic radiation where some of this energy is reflected back into space. So some energy is reflected back into space. But the majority of the energy passes through Earth's atmosphere in the form of short wavelength electromagnetic radiation, which is absorbed by the Earth's surface, causing it to warm up. So remember, short wavelength electromagnetic radiation passes through the Earth's atmosphere. And it's important to know that most of the energy is absorbed by the Earth's surface, causing the surface of the Earth to warm up. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So because this short wavelength electromagnetic radiation has been absorbed by the Earth's surface, this causes the Earth's surface to become warmer. Now the Earth's surface doesn't want to be too warm. It needs to cool down. So the Earth's surface cools down by re-emitting longer wavelength infrared radiation back into the atmosphere. So the Earth's surface re-emits longer wavelength infrared radiation back into the atmosphere, where some of this escapes into space. However, the greenhouse gases are very good at absorbing this longer wavelength infrared radiation. So this is the critical bit to understand about the greenhouse effect. These greenhouse gases are excellent at absorbing longer wavelength infrared radiation. Oxygen and nitrogen are not good at doing this. So the greenhouse gases, they absorb this longer wavelength infrared radiation causing the molecules to vibrate more, trapping the heat energy in the atmosphere. So to summarize, the longer wavelength infrared radiation is absorbed by the greenhouse gases. This causes the greenhouse gas molecules to vibrate more, represented by these movement lines around the molecules. Therefore, the heat is trapped in the atmosphere. Therefore, if there are more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, this means more longer wavelength infrared radiation is absorbed, causing 
there to be more heat energy trapped in the atmosphere. And the greater the greenhouse effect is, the higher the global temperatures will be. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.